let us summarize what we've learned today. Um, so we have seen a number of autonomous equations. So recall that an autonomous equation is an equation of the form where the left hand side is the derivative of the unknown function and the right hand side is some expression of the unknown function or of the independent of the dependent variable. So t is not present in the equation. The independent variable is, is not in the equation. So exponential growth k, then we have seen the logistic differential equation, and it is a good idea to remember the solution and the solution. Then there is a logistic equation with a threshold that we did not solve explicitly because if we tried to solve ex to solve it explicitly, it would really be a nightmare. Uh, the reason is because, um, I mean, although technically it is a separable differential equation, so we could try to, uh, you know, separate the variables and integrate, but then it would lead to... Um, to an expression where y is, where t is, a, I think it would be a cubic function of y, and then if you try to solve it, it's, it's a bit of, um, it's kind of terrible. It is probably doable, but the resulting expression is, is just too ugly. So we didn't bother doing it. Then we have seen a few non-autonomous equations, so uh, like Linear differential equations can be used to model scenarios where some kind of substances are, are mixing. And we have seen a differential equation that comes from a second order differential equation uh, of Newton's law of uh, gravitation, and it models the spacecraft flight. And then uh, the, the, these two nice little problems, Ketinari and Brachistochron, we did not really pay too much attention to them, but they are also beautiful topics and I encourage you to explore the, these topics. Okay, that's all for week three.